Welcome to Baxa Rubiana. I'm here from the Socialist Party headquarter from the Austrian place. This is the Austrian square, basically, historically. Unfortunately, Mr. Rama seems not to like Austria very much because here on the square you cannot find a single table anymore that this uh, square is the Austrian square. Over there, I will show you, it was at least a memory of us recognizing of Austria, not me personally, I'm just born in 68, but Austria 1912 was the country recognizing Albania. But um, Mr. Rama seemingly has a more Italian or Turkish or whatever, American or whatever kind of narrative uh, he has, but it's not very Austrian. Because he could have done some nice monument here for one Austrian, but this kind of whole story of 1912 is not so much uh, dear to his heart. Yeah? And I don't know why, what kind of socialist idea this is, but I call, you know, Austria was also created by socialists in 1918, by the way, Karl Renner. You could do a Karl Renner monument here. <laughs> doesn't matter for me, it's something Austrian, even when it's from the left, <laughs> I would appreciate. And I think uh, to have a square which called this Austria is very good. There's a reason for it. And here at this main square, it's actually very nice. It's uh, now no cars anymore because it was very slummy here some days and uh, some years ago when I first there. There's a very nice res uh, coffee here now. And it's uh, now renovated, the theater here. The square is renovated here as well. And the National Bank is renovated, so it's very good square, yeah, now, and it is really very good, yeah. And here they have Siguria, Berguides, uh, Schwilimi, and actually, you know, in reality, Austria is also a very social democratic country. <laughs> of course, we are now governed by the Conservatives and the Greens, but ultimately, it's a very social democratic country, so fine, everything fine for me. <laughs> I cannot change this anyhow, I'm more a liberal, obviously, economic liberal, but you know, that we have a common heritage would be good to find some. And I'm now looking, do I see somewhere an uh, Austrian table? This is officially the Chesi Austria. And I'm looking for the Chesi Austria table. Yeah, it's now a very nice square. And Austria is a nice country. Of course, we are not so important. I know that America is a bigger country, Italy is a bigger country. But here, no, there is no, there is now here the church. And this area is very interesting, actually. There is the KGB headquarter. It's called Shish, uh, the Secret Service. That was kind of uh, the Jashinsky Square, where you have uh, all these uh, prosecutions. And this is a very interesting area here. But there's no Austrian square anymore to be detected. Maybe they have removed it because they don't like us anymore. In the beginning, he was saying the big time of the Austrian is over. Now Austrian investors are welcome anymore, uh, again, they say so, we will see that, yeah. but I'm not so happy with this one. Here is no Austrian square, no Austrian square, yes, no Austrian square anywhere here. Ukraine square now, there's the church now, that's the Orthodox, Albanian Orthodox church, and that's very important here, a cultural monument, I've never been inside, I recommend it, it's the uh, House of the Leaves, that is the... Uh, KGB headquarter or the Utba, whatever you want, the Stasi, the Stasi center. And it's now a museum of the crimes of communism. They have called it uh, leaves, so it's ununderstandable. But it's the crimes of uh, communism. They were, of course, listening to everything here, the New York of the Balkans. But that's a very important historical monument at the Austrian Square, very close. But unfortunately, there's no Austrian Square to be seen anymore. And that's a bit of a mystery for me because we are a very friendly country. So why is our square disappearing? It's a question I cannot solve so easily. When I was in April, still there at the construction site, there was at least one square, and like the Austrian square. And we are coming as Austrian society then, I will remember. Um, so we will come back in October to celebrate 110 years. And uh, then we can also search if in the meantime somebody put the table again. This should be the Austrian square. And why was it so central? Because Austria and Italy, obviously. It was Austria and Hungary, but Austria was a very important country at that time. And Albania would have been ultimately defeated. And I would like to remind everybody who is listening, in 1913, Austria has mobilized its army. It was a partial mobilization, which led to the question, of the Serbs to Petersburg, that was the Tsarist Empire, if they should wage war against Austria. 
and then the bazaar said no. So this partial mobilization is widely forgotten, but obviously it was very important reason for World War um, One because it was basically the threat of war of Austria against Serbia if they don't remove themselves from Duras because uh, end of November that 1912 they have reached Duras already. That's why the independence of Albania was declared in Flora because Ismail Gemali couldn't come to that beautiful country anymore. And so that was the case. Yeah. So that is the history of Albania. And here at the Austrian square, I'm always looking for Austrian tables and maybe because of the construction site here, but it's no longer there. There was one Austrian table once. Yes, you know, I found it here. The last remaining table, <laughs> I found it here. You see, the Austrian square, I didn't lie. It's still there on the construction site. Maybe I can make a photo. Yeah, it's now forbidden territory. That means, yeah, here the Austrian, Chesi Austria. Because, you know, it is the place where Austria was giving much uh, of its own future because ultimately the reason why the Serbs then have decided to get with the secret service of uh, Russia and maybe not Passage himself but the Apis and the secret service supporting him they have decided to kill Franz Ferdinand this because Austria mobilized in 1913 to remove them from Trac, from Duras and so basically the decision to block the Serbian Russian access to Trac, to Duras has led to these extreme measures by the Serbian Secret Service to kill Franz Ferdinand. And then, yes, then the Albanians were free. Ultimately, they were joined and everybody, and Austria was shut up. <laughs> and yes, a little square <laughs> in Albania would have been good, but it's there, it's there. It's just hard to be detected because Mr. Rama is not so keen of all this Austrian stuff. He thinks we are useless and a bit oversold. I agree with him on that one. <laughs> But I think a little square would be still, and you know, a little monument and something, little something <laughs> would be cool. <laughs> okay, here, support Ukraine. Thanks for uh, all your uh, patience and support the Austrian square to be a bit more visible in the future. Please, Mr. Rama. Bye.